and the food will be appearing at some point during our photo session than others. Okay. Hi, everybody. Uh, here we are back again for um, a year in review. Uh, whatever, however you want to. Uh, day three. Uh, it's day three, and basically what we're doing is uh, uh, we've decided to do a um, kind of a walk back, and um, from the time that the first um, when we took control over uh, 134 and the, uh, from then on until right up until the 16th of October um, so uh, what we're doing now this is uh, day three we um, have already uh, had two shows if you missed it you can find it on uh, YouTube you can also find it on the uh, Gobert Lodge Facebook page. Um, so basically, um, I'm going to start the show with a video because, um, as far as I'm concerned, you know, the only man that can uh, really explain what happened is the man that's speaking on this video. So uh, this is our chief, Elsie Book Duke Chief, uh, Aaron Sock, and I hope the audio is good. The um, it, it's outside. It's a, a live event. This is actually happening on Treaty Day. Um, one year ago today, this happened, and uh, I'm just gonna let you guys watch the video. We have been compelled to act to save our waters, lands, oh. and animals from ruin. With this resolution, we have reclaimed responsibility for stewardship of our reserved native lands. Yeah, it's. Uh, our lands have never been ceded. For centuries, the British Crown has claimed to be holding. Yeah, and then go to the We have been compelled to act to save our waters, lands, and animals from ruin. With this resolution, we have reclaimed responsibility for stewardship of our reserved native lands. Our lands have never been ceded. For centuries, the British Crown claimed to be holding the lands in trust for us, but they are being badly mismanaged by Canada the province and corporations. We have been compelled to act to save our waters, lands, and animals from ruin. With this resolution, we have reclaimed responsibility for stewardship of our reserved native lands. Our lands have never been ceded. For centuries, the British Crown claimed to be holding the lands in trust for us, but they are being badly mismanaged by Canada, the province, and corporations. We are now resuming stewardship of our lands to correct these problems and to restore our lands and waters back to good health. Background. Under their original agreements, the British Crown was supposed to reserve the unoccupied lands in trust for us. Since that time, the Canadian government renamed our lands first to reserve native lands. Now it calls them Crown lands. Despite protests and without consent from the original peoples, the British Crown allowed Prime Minister Harper and the Canadian government to get rid of environmental protection due to mismanagement by the province and exploitation by corporations. Our reserved native lands and waters are being ravaged and ruined with extreme disrespect by governments that behave without common sense that only benefits the corporations. Our lands and waters assets have been overconsumed and they are no longer capable of providing enough to support our populations. SWN and the province have ignored our authority and right to control our lands. Chief and Council of Elzebuktuk, the Signetuk Grand Council, Captain Noel Joe Augustine, and our community members have requested SWN to leave our territories and repair the damage they have caused. SWN has been evicted from our territory according to traditions and conviction that we still own the land and the province of New Brunswick has been put on notice. <laughs> our lands were entrusted in the Queen's name, but she has repeated, repeatedly shown that the British Crown will not intervene and protect our interests. We have lost all confidence in government 
for keeping our land safe and completely ruined. With this resolution, we are ending the recurring problem of governments and corporations collaborating against us and destroying the lands that they are allegedly hold in trust. Current status, our community members and allies have been protesting against shale gas exploration for a very long time. Many of them have even sacrificed themselves and been arrested for doing what they can to protect the water. A lot of good people are committed to working hard with us to preserve our communities with pride in who we are and what we are doing to respect and protect the waters and lands forever. As chief, I'm with the people all the way. If I have to, I will risk even being arrested myself. for the support of other elected chiefs in New Brunswick. Our people are depending on us to support them. Key considerations. The complex, unique, and natural balance of human, animal, and plant life in Signiktuk is under extreme threat. We are now facing complete destruction of our lands and waters from mining and shale gas development, factory farming, and over-harvesting of our fish and our forested lands. In our, forest, in our forests, corporations have been destroying sensitive ecosystems and animal habitats with poison sprays and monoculture to increase softwood production for export. In our waters, multinational corporations are over-harvesting our fish while oil and gas industries threaten us with a spill every day. There are fewer and fewer forestry and fishing jobs for our people. Wild food is being poisoned. Our medicines are becoming extinct. They are threatening our way of life and our grandchildren's futures, too. I have heard reports from the Sussex and area that gas fracking and potash companies have already created irreversible damage, caused drinking water to permanently disappear, destroyed productive farmlands and ruined people's property and lives. There have been major accidents and unnatural shifting under the years reported in the area believed to be from mining and extraction operations. We cannot risk allowing these operations to continue. We are capable of managing our lands better than the government or corporations, and we intend to do so. We have decided on a carefully phased approach that will respect everyone who lives and works in our territory that will be directly affected. We intend to be fair to everyone who respects the treaties and peace and friendship and our authority over lands. With the consent of our people delivered through Signiktuk Grand Council and Elzebuktuk Chieven Council, we shall assist our people to oversee all activities on reserve native lands. All activities will require the people's consent. Take over approval of all land and water use permits on all unoccupied lands immediately. Restore the damage that has been done to Mother Earth by commercial and government activities. Implement culturally appropriate activities on our reserved native lands and deliver superior high quality education for true sustainability and provide the tools and resources for a good life for our people. In conclusion, the people of Signiktuk are ready to reclaim their authority and responsibility as stewards of Mother Earth and lands and waters. <clears throat> we have reclaimed this stewardship to enable us to respect protect and heal all life that depends on the health of the lands and the waters in our territory. For further clarity, there will be no more of our lands being held in trust by governments. Yeah!